original Bethel and Joe video today. DIY fail. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the dining ah, area. Ah, oh, oh. I've got a lodger. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome back to this week's video. We've got a original Bethel and Joe video today, haven't yeah. we? We're going back to, our, from, back to our roots. Blast from the past. Yeah. What have we got so to we've do got, today? So we've got to put the shelf up that I bought in the kitchen. Yeah. I've got to finish off my wardrobe. First things first, we're actually going to pick up a lamp or not a lamp, a light shade this morning. We mentioned in the last video that we've got um, loads of just random bulbs hanging out the ceiling with like no lampshades or anything on. Found one on Facebook Marketplace this morning, 15 pound and it's down the road. So we're gonna grab that. Also we've got, to, we can show you the addition to our office. And I say our yeah. office because now got I've got a lodger. Here. A lodger in I've your got a lodger office. In the office. There you go. <laughs> you are. You're I'm a not lodger. a lodger. I live here. Oh my god! How nice is this sun? Lovely. Lovely. Oh, this is lovely. a lovely Saturday. This oh, is. Lovely. This is like our perfect Saturday, isn't it? A bit DIY. We went for a walk this morning with Millie. That was lovely. We kind of missed time the walk though, because now it's well. Sunny. I know. That's true. What number is it? We're going to. Oh, 168. So we've been out, we've got the tools from our mum and dad, stuff from Wix, got the screws and the filler. We picked up some lunch, so we're gonna have a quick bite to eat and then we just get started. Should we show them the lamp show? Oh yeah, yeah, let's show the lamp. You can't really show you properly, but... Well, we, yeah, because we, have, we haven't got bulbs We actually in did it. have like bulbs that size before, but I think we threw them away. So this is our hallway for anybody that hasn't watched our videos before, you might not have seen all of our house. We actually just got a new rug for Christmas from my auntie and uncle, which we absolutely love. It's quite short for this hallway, but the idea is that this is like kind of the area that we can chuck our shoes and stuff when we come in. It's from H&M Home and we're really happy with it. So yeah, it's like- Yeah, so I'll go like up there. I think that would look really nice. Is it too low? Well, we can hide it as well. Yeah, it's probably too low for some of our friends. I mean, it's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> but it might not be for you. Yeah, stay, stay there. And some of stay our friends that are like seven foot tall. <laughs> Don't, because we might get my head stuck. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I was so tempted then to pull it down, but imagine we would have got it stuck. <laughs> Look, guys, it is literally bright blue skies. That is exactly what you want. Have we said we've had people moving into the house, moving into the house behind us as well? Oh yeah. So this house behind us, there's people that have finally moved in. That hasn't been occupied the whole time we've been here. So we've been having big discussions about how we're gonna privatize our garden and everything. I'm gonna get some screening trees. Yeah. Which our next door neighbours have yeah, them, don't they? I'm gonna get the same as next door, and I'm gonna get one slightly older. Than than what they got them, so they're like sort of similar age to Yeah, because they they've now. had theirs for a while, haven't they? They, they planted theirs last spring, so yeah. we'll do ours yeah. this spring, and hopefully I think they'll probably be a similar Never size. Are. The wardrobe! So we need to empty the wardrobe out first, because <clears throat> I need to pull it out. Everybody else getting hit by a bat versus me. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, take this one back out. Basically what I need to do is, because the skirting board's in there, so this is gonna need to go right up against the wall. So I need to get the skirting board off so I know the width of what I've got left. We're working with a tight space here, guys. <laughs> Literally, bed's here. It's just classic new build, isn't it? In hindsight, with all this wardrobe stuff we've done, if you bought another new build, would you have got them, like, would you just pay for them to have done the wardrobes? No. No. Nah. They were trying to charge £1,800, weren't they? A lot of money. And, like, this cost us, like, the, I think this whole thing cost about £400 with all of the drawers and everything. Here's the not to do DIY. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Quite good techers that I use there. Any of you that uh... anyone that's lost their hammer, just screw a nail into it. 
Screw. In case any of you guys are new to the channel, I just thought I'd show you <laughs> the difference in mine and Joe's wardrobes. Right, this is my uh, wardrobe room. So this is the dressing room that we did last year, at the back end of last year, and it is my favourite place in the world. We did it all out of IKEA packs. We haven't done this section here yet. So that's TBC, it's just got a load of junk in it at the moment. So what are you doing now then? I'm going to put this old one back in. Yeah. And get it in situ. That wardrobe's going back in there. I feel like we literally built that in one of our first YouTube videos. Yeah, we did an IKEA together. haul. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, yeah, that was it. IKEA haul. That was sitting nice and flush now. I think you haven't put that skirt and board on. One job down, now just this one to go. Yeah, now I've got it in situ where it's gonna be. I can measure from the wall. How big you need to make this one. So Do you remember how big this one actually is? Like how? 50. 50 centimeters. So What's that saying? That's got 45. Oh, so close, isn't it? That's just so, so annoying. I honestly think we're convinced that new builders make these spaces so that you can't buy packs. Mills is staying out of the way. As soon as she hears the drill, she's like, no, nope. see you later. She's so sweet. Back in the garden. Who remembers these videos? It's a bit colder. It is a little bit colder and that's looking a bit bare. We actually had this covered, guys, but we uncovered it because the cover kept flapping around in the night and I actually found out you don't have to cover it because it's aluminium. Apparently it doesn't need it and it looks absolutely fine. Now to build it. Yeah. yeah. That whole process of me chopping the top and the bottom down was the whole reason why I put this job off. And it was actually a lot easier. It was literally like a five minute job. It's been a year. We've just been prioritising other things though. Yeah. AKA my dressing. Right, whilst Joe is carrying on with doing that wardrobe, I feel like I'm just stood there like a lemon half the time. This happened last year. Joe's died. <laughs> oh no, has it? Damn it. I'm gonna show you the shelf that Joe's ordered. So, basically we're having a look at this kitchen and what we can do to it. And we, since we got that new bin, which I'm pretty sure I showed you in last week's vlog, if you haven't watched last week's vlog, we've got a new bin. <laughs> How exciting. So we've moved the bin and I don't know, it's just kind of changed like the spaces in the kitchen a little bit. So we're trying to like think about how we're going to do that half. It's kind of like the dining ah, area. Ah. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. I knew you fainted <laughs> just at the sound of you. Why did you do that? It's payback. I genuinely oh, well, thought so that you fun. had, I thought I was going to turn around and you'd have blood pissing over. Basically we've changed like the dynamics in the dining room. We've been thinking about how we're going to like do it up a little bit because it's kind of just a bit not that great. That part, mm. this part of the kitchen, lovely. That part is a bit unfinished. Yeah. So this is the shelf, it's like, is it a scaffold board? Yeah, it's like a reclaimed scaffold board. Yeah, it's really nice actually, isn't it? And we're thinking we're going to get another one of these for in here, but we'll save that for the video yeah. when we do it because that is going to look really cool. It's going to go like there, and we've got this plant. Oh yeah, you're going to put the plant you're on it. Plant on it. That it's looks really weird, doesn't it? Because it just yeah. looks like, I don't know, it just looks like nothing. Just something there that will be, that will yeah. just sort of bring it to life a bit. Yeah. Where's your PPE, Joe? I ain't got any. <laughs> Just came back up and I noticed a little bit of movement from the bed. Mills, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing under there? Are you hiding? Oh, <laughs> oh no, you're unhidden. To me, to you. How are we doing this? Just lift it up and just walk, like lift it up a little bit and then just walk straight. Oh! Right. DIY fail. It's not fail. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just that we've just realised that we should have put this one in before that one and now we've put that one back to the wall. Oh, God. Because the door frame here is like a lot thicker. It's the architrave. 
I think we'll have to take this one out. Do you ever do DIY and just think like, you get so far and then you're like, why did you not think of that? There's always something, isn't there? There's always something. What? If only you guys could like live comment and tell us what we could do right now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this camera for a minute because it's probably getting a bit stressful. <laughs> Woohoo! So it's in, but <laughs> not not connected to that. Joe basically took this away from that, slid that side in, and then slid this in separately. So now they're not actually attached, are they? No. Hopefully that makes sense. So first, not sure if it does. First thing for us is attach them. By the way, we've decided not to do a back on this just because we can't be bothered. Any joiners out there will be cringing. If you buy, if you buy this house off us in the future, we're sorry about the bodged wardrobe. Looking good though. You've got way more wardrobe space now. Right. Sorry. I just got it in and got on a, went on a roll and started putting all the stuff back in. But basically I pulled it forward and then screwed in the top back corner. Pulled the left one forward, screwed in the bottom and the top, and then pulled the right one forward and pushed the left one back, screwed in the top. It should be solid. There's not gonna be, any, it's not gonna be taking any weight. And after a couple of weeks, probably forget about it. It's not moving anywhere, all fixed together. All of that wardrobe space is mine. Beth is gonna be jealous. I guarantee she'll be like, I feel like you've got more space than what I have. And I haven't got my own room, have I? Job done. Look at that. Tidied hey, up. way better. Literally, you had like piles of stuff there, yeah, didn't you? Was... Realistically, I'm sorry, but when is it that you're going <laughs> to wear this? Holiday? That's a holiday shirt. I'm not like you and end up chucking everything away and then buy, buying more stuff. Like, I'll keep stuff because it's like, oh, I'll wear that. I like that shirt. No, it looks really good. So then you're going to put some sliding doors on Yeah, there. so we're going to get some sliding doors to go across the front. And also, there's a bit of bit of storage up the back there, so we can get yeah. some like some storage boxes and put stuff up there. <laughs> Woohoo! Guys, I'm sticking to my resolution. Yeah, Beth is cooking. Resolution. What are you making? My in. I am doing, I'll show you. Been downstairs while Joe's been, whilst Joe's been slaving away. I've been down here cooking up this. I am doing one from this book that we showed you last week, which is Niall Kirkland's High Protein. Oh my god, guys! Highly, highly, highly recommend if you have not got this already. We've made so many things out of it already. Um, I am just doing the peri peri rice bake at the bone uh, blah, 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 at the moment. Done upstairs. Now for the shelf, which is going here. The trusty laser level. To do this, they did supply like some big screws and well, these are the screws, and they did supply some raw plugs, but because we're putting it on like an internal wall, raw plugs won't hold it, it will just it will just break. So Picked up these grip it fixings. Do a little bit of a time lapse of me putting up the fit, putting up the shelf. Right, so as usual with DIY, doesn't go to plan. <laughs> uh, so the the brackets that were supplied with the shelf aren't very good for fixing shelves to plasterboard walls even with those grip it fixings which usually work but they just didn't seem to like it because there's quite a lot of weight coming like out in the coffee station these are the same brackets that we used for that and I had a couple spare they must have come in a pack of six so I'm going to use these uh, it's the best of both worlds because it actually covers up the hole just managed to get this on with the plan B brackets and I actually prefer these brackets I feel like that's a nice little area when we have got some stuff on it let's go I have just finally finished cooking this. Oh my God, it took way longer than expected. Basically, this recipe is in a cast iron pan. Mine is not in a cast iron pan because we don't have a cast iron pan. Time to dish it up. Never gonna dish you up. Never gonna dish you up. We'll catch up with you probably in a few days and show you how we've styled the shelf. Yeah. Because we've got loads of 
And Stuff. we've got the desk to show you upstairs. Yeah, so we do. We have the office. We'll show you that before the end of this video. Yeah. See you in a YouTube second. It is, what day is it? Tuesday, and I'm just faced with a load of flat pack furniture to put together. Which is Bethan's desk. Yeah, as you would have seen in the last vlog, got it all out of the box and just starting to look at the instructions. And it's much different to an IKEA flat pack furniture. But the quality of this is from Dunelm. And like, not that IKEA stuff is like bad quality, but you can definitely tell from like the quality of the, the wood that they use, even though it's like still that sort of chipboard stuff. It's just like, it's just better quality, more solid, thicker pieces. And there's a lot more to it than just like a mound of drawers. So I think this is going to take me a couple of nights. recording this video and I've realised we haven't shown you the new desk yet or the shelf with like the bits that we put on it for now so I thought I'd just make sure that we end this video properly and weirdly when I was editing I realised that I was literally wearing this hoodie in the last video. We're now in the uh, the same office, Joe's got a lodger on his hands so he says. <coughs> yeah, an annoying lodger. I'm not that annoying am I? Well, you said you were going to go and get coffees earlier, and then you just didn't... Yeah, but you then went and made a pretty shake and greens. So, welcome to my new desk. I found this thing on Dunelm. Um, you were listening, Joe, putting it up. I thought it was perfect, because it's basically a desk that hides away. So, it can act as, like, a bit of a storage unit for this room as well. So, we've got, like, a bunch of, kind of, office -y stuff in here. So, this desk pulls out like that. And then I can literally put a chair. I'm just using this fold out chair that we've got at the moment. But yeah, it pulls out, and then I've got a whole desk here. So I can put my laptop on there. Got my headphones, got my journal, got a clock. It all hides away so nicely, like you just wouldn't know that it was there. It's like kind of the start of the office. Joe's here with his standing desk, but we, we can't really fit two of those in here. Otherwise, we won't be able to do the rest of it. We'll we want to keep the space to sleep in, don't we? So. Yeah, yeah. You guys will see the rest of the office come to life because um, we have got ideas. So super happy with that. And then the shelf, you saw Joe put up. We decided not to put the plant on it. Just, I don't know, it didn't look quite right. So we're keeping the plant up there for now. But we decided to put all of our cookbooks on there. And that's actually been really handy because we're using them quite a lot at the moment. Just a little wax melt burner on there because before it was up there and I barely used it as where well. now it's down here I'll be able to grab it a bit more easily and this little candle that my sister got me for Christmas um we might change things around on that shelf like over time if we get other things but for now I feel like it's the perfect spot for some cookbooks we've got other plans for the kitchen but we'll show you that in the future so yeah loads to come this year really excited as we've said before just all takes a while so i think that comes to the end of this video yeah hope you enjoyed it hope we've got some stuff it. done started started the diy of the year yeah next video is going to be a big sorting out video because yeah there's a lot of bits in these house that you don't see yeah. So make sure you come Stay back for that. for that and find out what our house is really like behind the scenes. If you haven't already, drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel and come back next week. Bye. Peace.